Do you think the Liberal Party as a whole still knows what it is, bearing in mind that it has splintered with the rise of these independents? Look, I was talking to a person at the airport in Sydney yesterday on my way home from uh, the Indo-Pak Naval Conference, and their logic was that because they were a centrist voter, they needed to vote out their local moderate Liberal Member of Parliament so that the party could learn a lesson and move back to the centre. And I said, but surely you can see the flaw in that logic. If you get rid of moderate voices in the party room by voting them out, even if you agree with them, and the party becomes more right-wing, you're hardly going to get a less right-wing party. You're going to make it unelectable. And I think when people actually examine uh, the logic of getting rid of people they agree with, because they think that's somehow going to help the Liberal Party to be more centrist, I don't think that will happen. So people who, who are thinking about voting against, say, Rachel Swift in Boothby or James Stevens in Sturt, who are usually Liberal voters or small L Liberal voters, they need to stick with those candidates if they want the Liberal Party to be more centrist. The opposite will achieve the opposite outcome. Just back on the Albanese campaign, despite those misses, and, and many would argue that there was another one this week by pointing out the 5.1% rise to uh, those who are lowest paid workers in the country, that, that that was another slip, but Labor is now actually getting behind. And the government's big promises, the momentum is still against Morrison. So what, what, what do you think is behind that? Is it just his unpopularity or is, is it like 2007 when the country is just heading, it just wants a change? Look, I think Labor has played a clever election. I mean, even Anthony Albanese saying that he would support a 5% wage rise, you know, the reality is, of course, he has absolutely no influence over a wage rise whatsoever. And they're the other kinds of things you can say in opposition because you never really get held to account for them. Prime Ministers can't say things like that, so that was, that was clever. After nine years, I think there are people who just think it's time for a change. Um, we need to get, the, well, the coalition in the next eight days needs to get the campaign focused back on the economy, taxes, uh, and make sure that people realise that if they change to a Labor government and the economy goes hideously pear-shaped, well, they can hardly turn around and blame the coalition. The, their experience has been that coalition governments steady the ship, pay back a deficit budgets, don't borrow money if they, unless they can absolutely not avoid it, and are good at managing the economy. If the next week can be about that, then I think Morrison still has a chance of winning. If, if Anthony can keep the election focused on a whole lot of other distractions, then I think Labor's in a strong position. What do you make of the uh, policy announcement from the Greens yesterday that suggested that it wants to abolish the Australian border force? Look, I think the Greens are feeling really overconfident. Uh, they obviously believe in the polls, which is showing that their support levels are rising. I think that's a real danger. Uh, look, it's, look, the Greens aren't going to disappear from the Senate. Uh, they'll always win a, a share of Senate seats because of the 10% of the vote that they attract. But the idea of abolishing the Australian border force is completely mad. Uh, the Australian border force protects our nation not just from people smugglers, but if you're a Green... It also protects us from introduced species, uh, all sorts of different uh, uh, diseases that will wipe out uh, populations of native animals and, and seashells and things that are important to the Greens. So one week they announced a $24 billion policy to stop extinctions. Mm. If you wipe out the Australian border force, you're going to get a whole lot of diseases in Australia. They're going to wipe oh, out yeah. all sorts of species. So it's yeah. all completely illogical, Pete. Yeah, madness, madness. All right, Christopher, one more week to go. Next Friday, it's going to be a doozy of a Looking chat. Looking forward to it. Uh, OK, have a good weekend. We'll talk <laughs> okay. to you soon.